this is Backtrack 4 uh, R2 version and this is to share files between Windows and and Linux or Linux to Linux using Samba but since we can't since um, the share uh, shared uh, by, um, minus admin uh, command isn't working we get errors and platform and stuff like that I'll show you right now so we go to that and then we go to system then we go to shared folders we get this um, platform error detail thing and that's just stupid we get this, the unsupported platform, and of course, Backtrack is from Ubuntu, off of Ubuntu, and it's from version 8 Hardy, but if we click on it, we're still going to be asked to install Samba, even though after we installed it, and then it's going to be grayed out, and we're not going to be able to use it, so the only way is the manual way. So, first we're going to install Samba. If you haven't yet, if you have, just skip this part, you know, fast forward. Get get install Samba. I, of course, I've already installed it. Mine's going to say, I already have the newest version. Yours is going to say something else. And to check that we have installed it, indeed, we're going to use the SMBD, uh, TAC, uh, uppercase V, and then it'll show us the version. And, of course, then we're going to want to configure the 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 file. So we're going to have to go to uh, storage, then the refresh button should be next to home, so it can, you know, load. And then it should be an ETC folder, and then Samba. There it is, Samba. And then the SMB config file. So I've already made the backup. This is the backup. Yours should look like uh, like this. Yours is gonna look like this with all this. Once you backed it up, you're gonna open the original up and you're gonna delete everything inside. I use I I, I use um gedit, but in this case I'm using this way instead of the command way. Uh, you can remove the pound and you know. The, these right here are folders, but you're gonna have to add the folders. If you don't, you're gonna get an error, and you're gonna be showing these folders that are not there. So I I, I left these in for uh, these right here for um ex uh, example. Uh, the homes. This is if you want to if you want to let the 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 Windows user be able to log into the home folder of that. So um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, pound and then global parameters. That's what we're, it's going to be named. So, you know, we know where we're at. Then inside the brackets, we're going to have global because that's what we're going to have. Uh, that's our global settings. Those are going to be our settings. The work group, uh, we're going to have to have the work group name from the Windows and Linux, the same work group. If we can't have the same work group, you might not be able to see it. I, I don't know. So mine is home. Of course it isn't, but for this purposes it is. Um, the NetBIOS, that's the the name of the PC that's going to be shown to the other computers. If you leave this blank, it'll go back to uh, BT. And then encrypted password. If you press no, then I guess you know what you're doing. You won't have to create the Samba password, which will be later on. If you click yes, then you will have to um, create a password for a user. So what we want to do first, close this, is create the folder. Um, I created the folder on my desktop of the root, the home folder of root, and and I called it share files. This inside the brackets we're going to show everybody. Uh, the path is where this is at, that folder. Is that so? The path would be root share files. I would recommend a smaller name that way it's cleaner, easier, and also the name on the top smaller, cleaner. They don't have to be the same. Only the path has to be 
Only the path has to be exact. If it's not exact, then you'll get an error on Windows. But this, this you can name it whatever you want. Uh, read only. I really don't understand why we have to put no. I, something about able to write. I would assume it would be yes, but I guess no. Uh, browsable. We want it people to be able to browse into that folder. But and we want it to because since we're gonna put an encryption, we're gonna put that encryption. We put yes for the encryption. Once we have that, we're gonna save it and then close. Um, as you can see, and 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 the and over here where where I got it from, uh, they don't put the pound, but I put the pound, so it doesn't show up. So you know, if I want it to show up, I'll I'll put the pound, but I don't want it to show up. Now we want to add a user. For this instance, I'm gonna skip this part. Uh, you can go ahead and use it. Um, in this case, the user add um, space tag d uh, space uh, home john tech s and all this this you can find on the website it shows you how to how to add how to add the user but we're not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it you can you can come and look um, in this case we I want since I encrypted uh, Samba I want to put a password so for for my case I'm gonna put root if you're gonna put another user uh, use that name so the name would be SMB, which would be Samba, P S S W D, which would be password, so it's password Samba, tag A for the, I don't know. And then we're going to put root. I'm going to put root. You're going to put John, or you're going to put whatever name you made on the top, or whatever name your name is, or whatever users you put on there. And then once I've already done this, and it prompted me for a, a new a new password and I put in my password retype the password simple and then once it's done it says new password is is added and once that's done once that's done uh, I have to uh, reset um, Samba uh, usually it's best just to reboot the computer you're not probably never gonna do this again unless you have you're gonna add keep adding users to your backtrack don't know why but once you once you um done all that you have to reset it um reboot is better option so etc um rcd no that's that's not the command the command is uh, backslash etc folder etc init dot d um and then it would be samba s a m b a and then space and then restart that's the command and then as you can see stopping Samba daemons and da daemons what are you know modules can't say that name once you restart it you're gonna want to see if it works so and um, in, in this video I've already uh, put files in the in my folder those files should be able to be seen over here so I haven't started the network you can use another video to start the network so start network and then WSUD uh, backslash tc um, init.d wicd start and just give it a minute if it loads so you won't have to go to the K menu and then load the WICD from the internet options um, this is another way. the The way to check would be apt get update. If you get no errors and you get this, then it's then then it's loaded. So now we want to check Windows. So we go to New Windows Explorer. I remember the stolen part. That's what we were going to show. That's see. That's the that's what's showing. So once that shows, then we're going to see the search folder from Backtrack. We double click on it and there there's the Debian files. And then there you go. Well, happy days. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. Uh, if you want to add more folders or something like that for some odd reason, you'll have to add them like you did with the what like I did with the shared folder. Remember, something small, like music, apps, data. Just remember where that folder is at. Uh, that directory of that folder is at, and you're good to go. It's pretty sad that service, um, <coughs> sorry.
it's pretty sad that uh, the the service for the GUI doesn't work. You have to do it manually. Don't know why. Don't really care now. It works. Samba still works. Just the GUI doesn't. So do it this way. You should be able. You you should be fine. So brush your teeth. Go do your homework. If you're a kid. Don't be monkeying around other people. Don't do illegal shit. I'm not responsible. But if you want to steal my videos. Even steal my voice. By all means go ahead. Just share the goodies.